Camden, New Jersey, located just across the river from Philadelphia. It is one of the poorest, most crime-ridden cities in America. On February 12, 1997, Officer Stephen Leone patrols the street. It's 4.20 a.m. Officer Leone stops to catch up on some paperwork. I heard a massive amount of gunfire coming from the east side of Camden. Gunfire in excess of 50 rounds. Well, it's not unusual to hear gunfire in Camden, though it's a commonplace thing. And I try to locate in general area before I put out a call for an assistance so we didn't have cops running all over the place. Officer Leone drives toward the area of the gunshots. The streets are deserted until a suspicious car appears. Officer Leone pulls in behind the car. Then it appeared that the vehicle saw that I was a patrol vehicle, and he made a left-hand turn. I went down on the seat. came up and I could taste my own blood. Officer Leone has been hit in the face. Somehow he pulls himself out of his vehicle. I bailed out of the car to take up a tactical position in the rear of my vehicle in case my assailants attempted to come back or they were still in the area. I knew I was hit. I knew I was hit with a bullet in the face and the head, and I didn't know how serious I was hurt. I radioed an Shot officer fired. down, officer yeah. shot, shots Shot fired. fired. Officer down, officer needs assistance immediately. My location. Shots fired. Within minutes, Camden police and rescue units respond to the scene. Did you get a description of the vehicle? Despite his wounds, Officer Leone gives them a description of the shooter's car. Paramedics try to stabilize him for transport to a nearby hospital. The officer has bullet fragments embedded in his face. I took three in the scalp one in my left eye socket, one in my right eye socket, and a little piece of my nose. I was lucky I didn't lose my vision. Paramedics rush Officer Leone to the hospital, while investigators scour the scene looking for evidence. Camden County Prosecutor Lee Solomon. The idea that somebody would be so brazen, so arrogant, um, to fire a weapon at a police officer is something that we mobilize against very quickly. Investigators search the area looking for the shooter's vehicle. Police are called to a house not far from the crime scene. A neighbor heard gunshots earlier that evening. They notice the front door is riddled with bullet holes. I hear something banging in the door. According to the man, earlier that night, Someone tried to break down his front door. To get me. The resident grabbed his gun. The intruders heard him moving in the house and opened fire. The resident returned fire, forcing the attackers to retreat. Police believe the attack was what they refer to as a ninja-style robbery where masked gunmen invade a house to steal drugs and money. Over 50 rounds are fired into the house. One of the uh, bullets passed through a wall, a refrigerator, the rear wall of the residence, and the projectile was never found. Another went through a ceiling, floor ceiling, through the roof. Again, the projectile was never found. These were high-powered weapons, and so there was cause for concern. 